97.1 Casino Mani Noma Tena Sana, Mr. DNG, Danny Nyumba, of course, my guest, Jazira Suwani, who is the founder and, of course, owner of Say It With Chocolate. It's very, very interesting. How did you get into manufacturing? Okay, so basically, um, for me, I, when I started, it, I started it at home. Mm -hmm. So it was, uh, it was a, as, honestly, like I was telling you, selling is a joke. It was just those things that I was doing, like, for side money. And um, all of a sudden, it, like, went under from my feet. And then uh, I decided to get to a niche because a lot of people, including myself, were lactose intolerant or cannot digest dairy, in other words. Okay. So I initially started with dairy-free chocolate. So I was, at that point, o the only person making dairy-free chocolate in Kenya. So that's actually how, com that, like, say it with chocolate, started. it's dairy-free and vegan. So that's how we actually started the that, company. And does it taste different from chocolate no. made with dairy products? Well, obviously, it will taste different, but in the sense that because it's dark chocolate and um, with dairy, you have the milk chocolate and the white chocolate. So there is a difference. But what we do is because if we don't sweeten it a little bit, it would be um, very bitter to okay. the palate. And uh, as we know, Kenyans do not like yeah. bitter things. And white chocolate, why not sweets? Why not... Um... I don't know, candy, and cakes. <laughs> well, well, for me, I'm, I've never been a baker. I've uh -huh. never really, you know, I'm not the type of person who's going to go and sit and wait for something to fluff in the oven okay. since I was, like, young. And um, chocolate is just something, it was a passion. It's, like, something that I can't live without, personally. And how so, long have you done this? This would actually be now the second year. Okay. The, well, the second, third, second year over, third year starting, because we started uh, end of 2015. Okay. So yeah, December 2015. And how's this journey been? It's been interesting. <laughs> it has its downfalls. It has its plus points. What are some so, of the downfalls you face? Copycats. Yeah. <laughs> now people are doing chocolate. Now everybody's doing. Every other corner has you know a chocolatey, uh, well chocolatey. I would say in quotes. Okay. But um, you get uh, well, you get people who copy, but they can't exactly get into my brain. How so, do you know what is good chocolate and what's bad chocolate? Uh, good chocolate is different. It has a snap. It has a crackle. It has to be. Uh, well, it has to be gauged to a certain temperature. Obviously, I'm talking all science here. So yeah. yeah. But basically, you know, also from the palate, you can tr tr when you taste it, you would be able to know. Yeah. But then so again, different people, different, different, people chocolate. different chocolates. Exactly. Okay. So that's how you know that you know this is like good. But so far, Touchwood in the market, I've had a good uh, response. So yeah. I can't. Good response means yeah. a lot of money. I'm not complaining. <laughs> how profitable is this business? Well, Without telling us how much you uh, make. No, I will tell you something. I started from home, mm -hmm. and uh, I've now shifted to a factory because I needed to up my production. That means demand is high. Demand is high. There is a high demand, but there is a demand for affordable chocolate, not for chocolate. If you know yeah. what I mean. Yeah. So I go to I see these big brands. I don't want to mention. Yeah. I don't want to hit on anybody, <laughs> but I'm like, yo, three thousand, yeah. five thousand, like. I'm just gonna eat it. It's good to go melt in my mouth. Why? Well, because they built their name, right? Like, <laughs> and also the effort that goes into it. You see, for me, if I was to put in all the labor work that we do, it would actually cost a lot more. But the thing is, looking at the Kenyan market now, yes, there is money for spending, but there is not that much for spending. Yeah, because it's opportunity yeah, cost. Opportunity cost. But exactly. pay rent or buy chocolate. Exactly. So that's why. <laughs> that's why for me, I try as much as yes, we do put in the labor cost. Yeah. We don't maximize on the labor cost because we have to, you know, think about like who's gonna buy it. And do you know what? As as you're talking, I'm just thinking about all these other brands, man. Like I think it's the other day, mm -hmm. Skittles were yeah. launching a small pack. You know, I think it's so cool that the big manufacturers are coming to see that this is what we call, or we've called for a long time, the Kandogo economy. Yeah. You know, the guys who buy... Who buy small. Small, small, yeah. small, like you go to a kiosk and they, they measure the grammage of sugar. Yeah. I think that is the mass. And I think the telcos are the guys who've mastered it. They have small bundle packages. Everything, yeah. Small Every, airtime, five small, shillings. Yeah. Yes. Well, you see, that's the thing. Like, but you see, with chocolate even, the, the least you can sell, We like we are actually starting up a new... Um, well, I say a new edition this this week mm -hmm. where we will be weighing. But you see, with a chocolate, one piece of chocolate would be about fifteen grams. So if you're looking at something, the, the least you could probably sell is mm -hmm. between fifty to a hundred grams. Okay. So again, that and that's is, like how much? It you would it, you would base it between uh, 
probably 500 to 600 per 100 grams. Okay. So like the box, the small box that we sell is about 100 grams. Wow. So what, what an are, amazing business. <laughs> yeah. So you well, we have to try everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And what I love about this segment is that every time we're profiling different people and just going to show our audience that, you know, you can make money using your passion. You can. You I don't can. have to copy you, man. No. I have zero cognizance <laughs> of cooking and preparing <laughs> ingredients like my chemistry was like nil <laughs> but kudos to you yeah, thank and keep you. on keeping on hustling up in the level we come back shortly back to the music the band the kind of jones in it let's go